Hey, this is Derek, and today's short little tutorial, I want to show you how to use the custom fields in an easy, simple way, and I want you to know that this is kind of an advanced technique for bloggers, and so what this is going to do is save you a ton of time, and if you're a newbie, the good news is if you learn this now and pick this up, you're going to be able to use this to, to better advance your whole blogging ex experience to the next level, because it'll save you a lot of time. So. I want to bring your attention to a few things. I am going to enter in, as you can see right here, you can see the title of this blog post and you can see the banner right below. But you can see this wasted space in between. And normally, um, you know, I would put a, a special iframe in there that re that directs people straight to my fan page. Or if they like it, they're, they're going to be able to like my fan page at the same time, which means that if they log into Facebook, I'm going to be able to, that's going to, that widget will automatically add them to my fan page as a fan. So um, what I want to do is put that in there. Then I'm going to place another couple special banners inside of here. And at the very bottom, I'm going to put an opt-in form just as an example to show you how to um, use the, the, um, the custom fields area to better um, help your blogging experience and your bloggers and save you tons of time without you having to have tons of HTML Enter it inside of your blog post, and uh, and also have it you know disappear if um, if you if you switch back from the view. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Um, this is the actual blog post right here, and you can see it. This is a visual, and then an HTML. Uh, HTML is where you come in here. You can see the actual HTML as it's laid out, and as you can see, this is the code for my banner. Okay, and if you switch over to visual, you can see what it looks like here um, as it's laid out. Now, what I want to do. Is and if you switch back and forth, if you happen to be a blogger, you'll you'll know that if you put in HTML code like an iframe or a YouTube video and things like that, um, if you go back to Visual to check everything out, you'll probably lose your HTML coding, and that just happens. To, um, the the reason why that happens is because um, the way that WordPress is set up, it it won't actually identify it and use it and continue using it. So without getting into detail, just know that that is the way WordPress is set up. We want to fix that. So the first thing I want you to do is Let's look at the actual um, the actual layout here of this actual blog posting. What I want you to do is click on the link that it shows you here. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this code, and then what you're going to do is you're going to log into your uh, WordPress back office. Okay, you're going to log into your WordPress back office, and I want you to go down on the left hand side where it says appearance, and I want you to find where it says editor, and I want you to open it up. Okay. Now, when you're an editor, what I want you to look for on the right-hand side, you'll see a whole list of different templates and pages that you can alter. What I want you to do is you're going to go down and look for adminfunctions.php. Now, it may not say admins-functions. It may just be functions.php depending on your theme. But for me, that's what it is. So it's your functions.php file. You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you're going to paste the code right here. Okay, you're going to paste that at the very bottom. Let me continue scrolling down. You can see that this is actually the the actual field that I that I've uh, that I want to paste in here. Okay? Function field. This code right here is the same that we just copied right here. Okay? So I want you to paste that in there. What that's going to allow you to do is type in a little special field that will help your WordPress to identify the special field that you want to place. Okay? So Without getting complicated, just paste that in there and then hit save or update the file. Then what, you want, what I want you to do is go back into the blog, uh, the WordPress layout, and what we're going to do is we're going to start entering some of the stuff. So let's go into HTML, and you can see that this is the banner we've already identified. What I want to do is go ahead and hit enter and leave a little space. And then this is where we're going to enter custom, uh, if I could spell, right, <laughs> field. Okay, and what we're going to do is go down and identify the custom field. So you'll see that this is actually down here. And I've already identified one right here. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down and where it says name to add a new custom field, you just simply either select one you've already created or you enter a new one. Okay, so since I've already created one, what I did is I selected iframe. Okay, and then what I want to do is paste in the code for the actual iframe which is right here. Okay, I've already identified it. I've already copied this in advance. So um, that's essentially what I've done. So what you do is you go ahead and you paste it inside of there and then you hit add custom field and it will place it into a whole another section up here where it says custom fields. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want this custom field to pop up on your blog where it says enter custom field here or that's where I want this one to be placed. So what we're going to do 
is if you're looking at the actual blog post, I've actually already written out the actual identifying code for you, and it's field space name equals and then the name you give it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna log in or I'm gonna go back here and paste this right inside and instead of having a name I'm gonna call it iframe as I've actually spelt it below okay so let's go take a look iframe all lower caps no spaces iframe and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna preview this here just so you can take a look and see what happens and there you go. Now it's popped up on the inside. Very cool. Um, and the good news is, if you swap back out from HTML to Visual, it'll still remain there as a code, but it'll still maintain its spot. Okay, that's what this whole thing does for you. It saves a lot of time, so you can go through and edit. Now there are a few other ones here. I'm going to add really quick, and um, I'll be right back. Okay, here we are back, and there's a couple things that I've actually entered. I've actually entered one called MLSP Choice, which happens to be a specific banner that I like to use. Here's the code for it. I also have a special opt-in form, and here's the code for that. And all this basically is is the embed code that we would normally use or, or you know place on our page anyway, but we created the custom field for it. So what I want to do now is actually enter these these custom fields on my actual blog posting. So let's use the same format. You know, let's use the same one, which is field space name equals iframe. And I want to paste these. Who I'm going to paste the first one right here. Okay, and this one will be. Uh, this one will be the MLSP choice and let's go make sure that I spelt it correctly and I did all lowercase okay okay and then I want to just before this banner right here before that image I want to paste uh, my opt-in form so we'll use the same thing here the same field name and we'll call it Aweber because that is the name of my opt-in field. So let's go and make sure I did that right. Aweber. Okay. So there you go. Now if I save this or if I publish it, I'm going to preview it because this is on a time release post. Um, it should pop up. Everything should pop up correctly. So the first thing is the iframe. You can see right here. Okay. Let's go down. And right here is the banner. You see the banner. And as you can see, here is the HTML code. Now these are all functioning codes. If you'd like, you can actually enter my private membership site where I'm going to teach you how to build a business or start to generate leads online if you're watching this posting. This is only put here for example purposes only, but these are functioning fields of actual stuff that I use throughout the blog. So now you know how this all works out. You can see how I've actually placed it on here and I strongly advise you just follow these instructions. It's all very simple once you have it all set up. And uh, it's going to save you a lot of time and uh, and also prevent a lot of time that you would otherwise spend altering all this different text and flip, flip flopping back and forth between um, the HTML tag and visuals. So go ahead, do that. This is Derek Evergreen signing off. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.